Okay, this is how to create a named range and data validation in order to create drop-down lists in your program. So I've got a generic program template here and what I want to do with this is create drop-down lists here in the exercise column in order to correspond with the exercise type column. So over here I've got bilateral squat. Well in this cell I want to have a drop-down menu of a bunch of bilateral squat options that the athlete can choose from. And the same thing here with horizontal push. I want a drop-down menu of a bunch of horizontal push options. So the way that we'll do that is we will create lists of options in that category and these lists can be anywhere. You can put them way over to the side. You could put them sort of, yeah, like this. You could put them in another tab. You can hide them so you know you could make the font white so that they just disappear and they're hit and they're not you know seen by the athlete but they just have to be there. So I'm gonna highlight this list. I'm gonna right click and then I'm going to click define named range. And I'm gonna make a mistake here on purpose. I'm going to call it bilateral squat, and I'm going to press done. Now it'll say the specified range is not valid. And the reason for that is there's a space in the name. We just have to take that out. It has to be one word. It can be uppercase, lowercase, just can't be any spaces. So now that list is called bilateral squat. Let's highlight this one. Right click, define named range. And we'll do the same thing, except we'll call this one horizontal push, one word. Now we'll go over here to the exercise column where I want the drop down menu, right click, data validation. It's already populated here in the cell range. It's not a range, it's just one cell, but it could be a range. You could also just put C22 because that's the cell here, C22, but it populates it for you. Criteria, list from a range, it's already there. That's what we want. You could also do list of items and then just type in those options separately, separated by a comma, and it would do the same thing. But since we have a, a named list from a range, we can do this. And then we want to know where that's coming from. So it could be, if you look over here to the named ranges that we created, it, we could type in this week one, exclamation point H15 colon H17 in there or we could just type bilateral squat because that's the name of our named range and there we'll press save and there you have it. do the same thing for horizontal push data validation it's already populated for us. Horizontal push. I spelled that wrong. So there it is. Hope that helps.